be very, very easy uh, for Arrow to deal with. But, you know, the Lynx definitely have projectiles that they can, they can get that uh, deal going on with. But getting Krom off stage is the difficult part because they are such a neutral machine. 100%. But even then, we could see something like the Inisora coming up from Arrow this time around, too. Because, like I said, the last time at AZSO, when they played, Arrow did beat him with the Incineroar. Yeah. Incin, you know, I, I, I'm just going to keep my options open and, and not commit to anything because we've seen no shortage of, uh, of character picks that we really weren't expecting. And it looks like we are going to be getting the Aegis here as opposed to anything we've talked to thus far. And we're going to be seeing Frost go with the Roy, which is something we have been seeing uh, Frost do versus Arconi. Where yeah, this, with right. his Roy counter pick. So, okay, let's see what Arrow's got here with the Aegis. Now, um, what we were talking about with, with Krom is very similar with Roy, neutral machines, but you can't talk about having super oppressive neutral without mentioning uh, Mithra. But, you know, we see Frost going right to work, a nice 55%, but now we have Arrow in advantage, and he is just going to work as well. For sure, and I'm not going to lie, I don't know how much experience uh, Arrow actually has in this matchup. But I do know Frost has played myself and Arconi in this matchup multiple times. So, you know, we'll just right. have to see what both of these players can bring out uh, during this set. Now, I, I think the uh, the Mithra is going to be the option here, especially early on. Yep. Uh, but we already have Frost putting a statement on that first stock. That's going to be one of the big issues of this set, is that Frost is really good at getting these really cheesy early kills. It's something himself uh, has said before that he specializes in. And Pirate Mythra being one of those characters that are really easy to just hit a dive beyond. Right. Yeah, I can't fall out of it very easily. Now, I, I, I think opting for uh, Mithra for most of the match is a smart decision, but using Pyra and Mithra interchangeably is going to be super important. The problem is that Pyra really struggles at disadvantage against a character who naturally causes your opponent to be disadvantaged whenever they're running around. Mm -hmm, for sure. And going back to the Jivey statement, you saw right there, even though the Jivey didn't even kill, uh, it still put uh, Arrow in a super bad situation where he was forced to recover kind of low because if he decided to go high, he was too high uh, and Rasta thought it. But that episode right, that first stock. stock. Yeah, finally sealing out that first stock with an F tilt. That move is ridiculously strong, but you know, Pyra, one of her few options, yeah, and there's that chair. Yeah, the Jack Air coming out, as we dubbed it, uh, Taco and I. Ooh, high recovery. Could have been bad for him, but yeah. Frosh is going to get two hits with uh, Soft and Fair. Arrow really having a difficult time against Frost right now. You know, this isn't even Frost main, this isn't even the Krom. Um, but they're really making the boy feel super oppressive, getting a lot of damage on uh, in, in very menial interactions. Where Mithra, she is good at so much, but killing and, and, and racking up damage with her individual attacks is where she tends to struggle a little bit. For sure, and even though this isn't Frost main, this is a character that Frost has been practicing and taking him out. Uh, since he made the switch to a game controller. And right. Krom and you know Roy, fundamentally kinda of had the same combos, so making the switch wasn't that hard for Frost. But is gonna miss that punish on the side B. Yeah, but it doesn't matter because they get a side B to answer right back. A two stock game one here. And Frost. What a game from them. I, it did not look like they were out of it for a single moment. Yeah, that is definitely a good game to uh, to open up the set on, especially on someone like Arrow, where I would believe now Arrow would be thinking, okay, what character am I playing next game? Right. Um, and and that's that's where Arrow tends to struggle with a little bit, as we talked about during our pre-show. It's in when the chips are down, Arrow kind of has a bit of an issue uh, adjusting to an individual character because they feel like the problem is them playing their secondary. And we're um, gonna get or, an immediate switch yeah. to Joker, which this is yeah. one of the characters that, uh, while talking to Frost about it, he said this is a character that he does want to use Roy instead of Crown for. Right. Okay. Um. Why? Why would you think that is? 
do you think? Uh, I, he, I think he just thinks the uh, the neutral is way easier for him to play around. Not only that, it's easier to see Joker because of dive B, and uh, it's easier to recover mainly because you know Kong very exploitable recovery. Okay, yeah, I could definitely, I could definitely see that. Um, Roy, a character who has a very good close quarters game, Joker. You know, kind of a mixed bag with, with their offensive pressure. Uh, whenever they have Arsene, their their range gets a lot longer and a lot more devastating. Um, and a, their game improves across the board. But consistent kills early on is where Roy definitely excels. And getting rid of Arsene, um, you know, by taking a stock is super important. Yeah, 100%. And uh, one of the things I personally like about this matchup uh, on the Roy side is that Jide B will start killing Joker before he can even get Arsene. If you have Rage, or if you're winning it's hard enough, you'll get him to around 70, and you start your dive in, and by the end of it, he'll just die before he even gets the Arsene off. Yeah, I, I think too often we see too many people trying to be super defensive whenever Arsene's out, rather than just putting the pedal to the metal, you know, picking your spots well, obviously, but, you know, you need to hit Joker to get rid of Arsene, or it's gonna last for a very long time. That's why Arsene is so oppressive, because people are like, oh, I'm scared, I don't want to approach. But now you see Frost throwing caution completely to the wind, going in, going ham and cheese, getting rid of that Arsene, very and good just game. putting well, the smackdown on the board. Right down to just one of those moves you can't really contest. It's so, I, I, it's not really safe, I gonna say. I believe it's like minus two, but even then, against most characters, you can't be much about oh. it. But there's that Joker, the patented back air coming out. Very fast, very strong, and long move. Um, really good for offstage. And now we have Arsene here. And okay, you know, that was a, that was a miffed up beat, but they are able to make it back to very, play very scary, before dying. Okay. Now, okay, going for another one. Kind of a weird option. We don't really see too many Roy's going for uppies from a grounded position. It's a, it's kind of good for Joker, mainly because uh, you'll armor through most of his moves. You armor through the first hit of dash tag, fair one. Uh, you armor through the late of Nair on our ascent. So and yeah, ag against Joker, oh, sorry, it's, it's a pretty good option. Right. Yeah. That rage really made that side be a lot more powerful. This is where it gets really scary because like an F tilt will kill. I, yep, there it is. Commentator's blessing, I think. So what I'm thinking here is you can't if you're okay if you're early in the situation you can't really do something like an incinerator on town because you, at that point you're fighting uh, Trump slash Roy on town in the city. Right. If you go to try class, stages. you're fighting them on one of the rest stages again. So maybe the play right. is to just go back to Smashville or go back to PS2. I don't know, man. I. I, I gotta I gotta think about this one because this is a rough matchup and we have Frost here running an absolute train over Arrow like it's the Wild West uh, and they just put down the last spike of the railroad, dude. I I gotta be honest with you, Arrow's gotta change something up in a big way. I think meeting Frost with his own level of aggression is kind of the issue because Roy's a character who can really outclass a lot of people at most ranges. Oh, we're getting some Legend of Zelda music. Maybe we're going to see the link. I'm expecting it. The, the Skyward tag coming out. Yep, Here is, is the, young the Young Link. Link. Okay. I, I so, do like this pick because, just like you were saying, I feel like Arrow's plan right here needs to be that he needs to slow down Frost and make him play at a way slower pace. He can't let Frost get these approaches for free. If you put these impediments on the Roy running in, their whole gameplay shifts around a little bit uh, until they get back into advantage. We already see 46% coming out and a nice down air to land, but right into disadvantage yet again. Cross get a nice string. Get, get damage. Yeah, right back in the lead. You know, Young Link's one of those characters I think is incredibly under underused. We see people like Colonies uh, and, and Skittles using them to great effect, but no one else really. And, you know, I, I think if Arrow decide to stick with this character, they can see a good degree of success in this matchup. For sure, and Young Link is just one of those characters, uh, so to say, is it's a more of a... looks easy to play, but actually, in reality, it's hard to play at like a 
a high level. Yeah, I, I think it's one of those low skill floor, high skill ceiling characters. Yeah, for sure. Um, where their level of vi viability really varies depending on what level of a player you're going up against. And I think Arrow's ability uh, to use this character well is being very aptly demonstrated right now. Yeah, going pace for right pace now. with Arrow, or with Frost, for the first time this entire set. And right now you can see Frost kind of just sitting back a little bit. He's expecting the projectiles. he's playing the way he needs to. But this is right. a lot more favorable for Arrow, I believe. Oh. Man, great off stage hard. game. Let's get the guaranteed damage. Need to punish. Right, right. Yeah, it's uh Arrow's doing a really good job of, of, of getting into advantage from neutral. It's just they tend to overextend a little bit, and that's where the openings from Frost are really opening up. But right now, if they keep playing at this the, at this mid-range with their projectiles, they can get some really good easy kill setups. Like this one, Ooh, the arrow and that's gonna be super poor DI on Frost's one. He definitely should not have died of that. Right, but maybe not expecting it, maybe, you know. I, I think Arrow starting to come to terms with this matchup and, and find a new way around the problem. Yeah, but the only, there's one thing I'm scared of, and it's another thing I was talking about when we were introducing Arrow. What if he wins this game and doesn't decide to stay on the Young League? I have a feeling they might. I mean, this game is going incredibly well considering how the rest of the set went. It is, but just like in the set with Bethel, uh, the Incineroar game went really well for him, and then he just switched off of it. So, you know, maybe, yeah. maybe we'll see an issue like that happen. But I would really like to see Arrow stick with the only for the rest of this side. Yeah, right. I mean, you know, that's the, that's the thing about playing multiple characters is you, you tend to be stretched a little bit thin um, for your master, your degree of mastery over a lot of them. But, you know, that Young Link really had a lot of promise with the JV2 coming out. Game 3. Yeah, really good conversion on Arrow's then. Gonna drop the bomb. Know that Frost is gonna try to do something out of shield and just killed him for it. Right, right. Not wanting to overextend with that up B, uh, trying to get back to ledge safely. But coming right down from the Halo platform, getting a nice early kill. Smashville coming back out. Yeah, just drops the, the bubble drops the bomb, game. says hold this ratio and kills him. Right. Now, we want to see... Oh, we're going to see the Incineroar. Dude, I, I don't know about this one. I'm, I, I'm know, actually I, fine with this because... Like I said, he did beat him with it last time they played. And in a, a Frost, very uh, yeah. incredible fashion too. Frost as of recent has been losing to Minus in as well. Right. Alright, well, let's see what Arrow can do. I mean they're doing a good job minding their spacing right now. They really have to against a character like Krom. I mean they're getting right to work, but Frost not making it easy to get a grab. Or God, a unfortunate cover. STD. That is the fallacy of Incineroar. They have a difficult time getting in against these faster opponents with these swords, and also Gods. have a trouble recovering. Big X smash coming out from Arrow. Oh, nice down throw back here. Not gonna kill just yet though. All right, they have revenge on deck. A, a side B will be killing, but no, they instead offer an up air get that percent out early. I respect it. Uh, one of the things that most people look for when it's already has your revenge is to still can side B. But, you know, Arrow just gonna oh. do that up get that guaranteed damage from Frost. Gonna get a really early stop with that jab, Arrow dodge that smash. Dude, he hit him with that jab and said, you're gonna air dodge and I know you will. And, uh, you know, that back air might be too, or back throw might be too little too late. As we see Arrow really firmly in the back seat. Actually, he's not in the back seat. Right now, he's in the trunk with the keys locked in the front seat. Yep. In the but ignition right now. Incineroar is a character that can make comebacks. Is is definitely not out of the realm of possibility. No, I'm inclined to agree, but we do have revenge out. They're gonna pop it right now with the forward air. Frost wisely recovering back to ledge. Skyward, or excuse me, Arrow looking for those Cheeto fingers. Not gonna connect, and I'm good, good minding of the command grab. Get that. So that's gonna kill. No DI on arrows, and Man. probably just not gonna uh, have expected it done. That change right there. Frost is gonna take that three-one. Pretty good showing from him.